Hi, and welcome to my very first episode of Making Every Mob in Minecraft in Blender. It's pretty self-explanatory, so uh, yeah. In this episode, I'm going to be making Steve. So let's get started. So I started off by destroying the default cube, and then I imported some basic reference to sample colours from. Here I got one for the colours and one for the pixel measurements. Now I added a cube and made the dimensions 0.1 by 0.1. I do a much better method later on, so don't do this because it's stupid. Now give that cube an array modifier, 3 to be precise, and do one for the x, y and z until you get a cube that's 0.8 tall. Now I just apply all the modifiers and separate them by loose parts and just like that we have 512 cubes. Hmm. I tried doing the same thing with planes for less verts, and here I'm just making the general shape of the head. And now we have 383 planes, which is still a lot, but just less. So now what I'm doing is stupid. What I've been doing is selecting every individual plane, one at a time, then colour sampling them all, one at a time, from the image with the colour picker. But Alex, I hear you ask, why don't you just UV map an image to the cube? Yeah, I tried that, but like, when I do it comes out all blurry because all of the images I find are low res. Also, I can't make the eyes shiny because it's all one texture. So here I go getting every single plane to the same colour as the image behind it. And I'm also making pivot points for when I join the objects. Alright, now that we have it all done, I made a hero brine variant. And now we have a... 3,712 planes. Damn it. Maybe I should just UV map the text to it. But it's so low res. Gah, if only I could just download the textures. It's so simple. Why didn't I think of it before? I could just download the actual textures. I'll link the textures in the description. So I plugged them in and uh... So I plugged them in and it actually worked perfectly. I fixed that problem by changing the interpolation from linear to closest. So I UV mapped it correctly, but we still have the problem with the shiny eyes. But I have a trick up my sleeve. It's called a roughness map. Black means shiny, white means rough. What I did was change it to non-colour, plug the colour into the roughness, and change the specular to 0.05. Then I did the obvious next step and made him soft. So I gave it to Steve and... I eventually got it working and uh... So I went into a new scene and started testing. And now I think I get it. See these objects? These? As you can see, they are joined, but if I go inside, you can see that it's not actually combined, it's just basically parented. So when I give it a soft body, it just falls apart. But if you join objects like this, where they're actually connected in the same mesh, they stay connected. So then I just had to apply this to Steve, which was fairly easy. And now you can see, if I try to separate by loose parts, it doesn't work because they're all the same mesh. And if I enable the soft body again, don't worry, I fixed it, it was just self collisions. Now that I have all the textures, it would make sense to have some grass, right? So I got the grass texture up, and it was great, nice. This was easily fixed by sampling one of the green colours from a normal grass block, and using the colour replacement tool in Photoshop, and now it's green. Nice. And I also set up a full grass texture, with the sides in the dirt. And finally I did the same with this grass. So I slapped them into Blender and that looked real nice. Then all I had to do is give them collision and that just works. But I don't really want Steve to clip into this block. So I concluded that it would be fixed by giving him more geometry. So I gave him a subsurface modifier and oh my god. Yeah, just change that to simple. And now we got geometry. So next I made this place and with some good lighting this looks really good. I'll just go ahead and play the animation so you can see. So now that it's good, I made some final adjustments like more ground and lighting, and I rendered it, and it looks really good. I just need to make some final adjustments and now it's done. This was totally by me, I did this, I mean why would I steal someone else's work? <coughs> Finally, I added Herobrine back, as you can see, and I think that means we're finally done. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe to both of my channels. Hit the bell so you never miss a video. Post something to the subreddit. Please, it's so empty. Thanks and goodbye.